Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark. I'm Jim, and it is Dollar Tree Theater. Um, I'm a little behind on the uh, Dollar Tree Theaters, but I caught up this week with The Bad Nun. Uh, this was also known as The Watcher. Um, they re-released it uh, to DVD in 2018, and this was the title change uh, so that they could capture the, the buzz around The Nun, the one that everybody knows about. Um, this movie is about a girl named Aisha who goes to an isolated bed and breakfast in Kent after her mom books her in for a weekend getaway to get some head space for her studies. Uh, in the night, Aisha is visited by a nun at the door who progressively begins to show her true colors as the night unfolds. As the night continues, uh, the nun continues to bother Aisha at the door. Aisha grows threatened and begins to question her surroundings in this isolated suspense horror. Um, this is rated 3.6 on IMDb. It was written by Scott Jeffrey, who was also the director. It stars Becca Hirani, Lucy Chappell, and Chris Kay. Um... So yeah, this was a 3.6 rating. I guess that's pretty good. Um, it's a little, it's a little off. Uh, the nun, you know, is cool looking. I mean, it's a nun costume. Those are hard to to uh, mess up. But the face is a full black mesh um, that you can't see through. So it's. Um, to me, having watched a lot of these types of movies, it was obvious that this was not going to be like a supernatural entity um, or they wouldn't have hidden the face. So the nun was going to be somebody who was introduced to us in the first part of the movie, um, which, you know, that's not really rocket science to try to figure out. Um, the movie is an ITN movie. Uh, their tagline is time to repent. Um, so yeah, as the synopsis just said, uh, Aisha is introduced to us after there's already, um, like a brief kill scene, uh, to open the movie. There's also a reoccurring, um, kind of like a old movie that plays in different, uh, times throughout the movie. Um, of a young boy from 1974, and it's got the old uh, camcorder feel to it, you know, where we put the little box things in the corner and the half battery icon up in the in the corner. Um, and I thought it was funny because this, this was obviously supposed to be VHS, right, 1974, but Aisha at one point finds a DVD. <laughs> um, so that was a little. You know, often less. I mean, people make copies of their VHS tapes to DVD, I suppose. So um, we get this first kill at the beginning of the movie. Someone opens the movie. Um, it doesn't really do anything but establish the location. Um, so I guess this is a little bit spoilery, but so then you know we get that kill. We get the uh, opening credit intro, uh, and then we cut to a nightclub where we see Aisha, you know, living it up. She finds a guy, she takes him home, hooks up. Um, but then in the morning it's revealed like she still lives at home. Mom's not impressed. She um, wants Aisha to get her act together. So she books her this little vacation, this little weekend getaway to kind of like get her head space. They keep saying, get your head together, get your head space. So, um, Aisha goes to this bed and breakfast and, um, you know, if you're paying attention, which I was at this point, you notice that it's the same, uh, house that the first opening kill was in. Um, Aisha is met by the caretaker of the place, this, this guy, um, older guy, and he, um, you know, gives her the keys, gives her the rundown. You got 
food in the, in the cupboards, whatever you want. Um, and then she goes for a jog. Um, she doesn't look like a jogger, but for the sake of the movie, she, she went for a run. She's in this isolated wooded area. So cell phone service is one of those plot devices. Uh, it works when they need it to, and it doesn't when they, you know, they need it to. Um, sometimes it's a little inconsistent. She can use the phone to make voice calls, uh, but she primarily can text when she's in the house because the house has Wi-Fi. Um, so her friend calls her while she's on this run because she gets in, she gets into an area that has service. Um, Aisha gives her the address so the friend comes and it takes forever, by the way. It's very inconsistent when she says she's only an hour away and it's like overnight. Um, uh, Aisha in the woods while she's running, she finds a church, uh, goes into the church, prays um, to her father, you know, that she misses her father and then she hears something and then there's like this nun in the distance and she's like hey hello blah 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 blah. and then you get a little bit of a jump scare because there's the caretaker of the house outside uh when she goes outside and uh she says oh there was somebody in there he's like oh this hasn't been an active church for a very long time and then she gets the whole background story of the house that she's staying in it used to be the nunnery the nunnery uh i believe that's where they squished nuns into uh, wine, um, like a winery. Um, so then that night she gets knocks at the door from the nun who tries to convince her to open the door to let her in. It's a very drawn out, um, scene. I imagine that it's intended to build suspense and thrills but the nun leaves cookies on the doorsteps. So first night, first attempt for the nun to be granted access into this house, uh, she left her cookies. And then stuff happens. Then she comes back the next night. Um, the friend uh, shows up after that and... Okay, so there's the there's a tennis court because I guess the nuns played tennis back in the day. Uh, the lights for the tennis court were left on, so the caretaker and Aisha had been on the phone together because this is one of those moments where they could actually use their phones. Um, the caretaker guy says, "Can you go out and just shut the lights off?" Because he wouldn't be able to make it back until morning and blah blah blah. She's nervous. She doesn't want to go outside because the nun has tried to get in, you know, a couple times. And But she does go. So when she goes out the back to get to the tennis court, the friend arrives and the front door is open. So she goes in. Uh, she hears music and things going on upstairs. So she goes upstairs. So we know she's there, but Aisha doesn't. Aisha gets back into the house after, like, some back and forth. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, I kind of started, it just was so drawn out that I just kind of lost a little bit of interest. Um, we get a, we get the nun reveal um, after um, Aisha starts texting her friend, like, hey, where are you? And the friend text back like I'm upstairs I'm unpacking come up and see me and Aisha's like you're not here stop messing around blah 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 but she goes upstairs finds Aisha in the bed um and then the nun is revealed to us and you'll never be able to guess who the nun was who he was who who he was the nun um yeah so we get moments in between there too of more of the the video um, of the of the little boy. So you know, obviously, who who was that little boy? Did he did he grow up to be a nun? Um, 
there's a chase scene, you know, running through the woods. She makes her way back to the church. And um, there it is again, the video. But this time now she sees the whole video and she sees that. And this is going to be spoiler because it's so bad. Um, the, the rest of the video that she, she hadn't seen before was the little boy killing his mother, who was the nun who ran the nunnery. The nunnery. Uh, he said, I'll have none of that, sister. And uh, he's stabby, stabby, stabby all in her. And um, so now I'll go back to, and tell you. So when the reveal is who the, who the nun was, he is having conversation as mother and himself. So kind of Norman Bate-ish. Um, really not a good movie at all. Just really bad. Um, but... Uh, you know, stabby stabby, none stuff, very low budget, the UK film, um, so if you're triggered by driving on the wrong side, uh, be wary of that, but, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this review of The Bad Nun, let me know if you've seen this movie, or if you like nun movies, if you don't like movies with nuns, then leave none comment, thank you. Have a great day. So have your dream. Go on and sing your song. There's nothing wrong with singing out of tune. If people laugh and say your dream can never be, just think of me.